Here we're going to list all possible rational zeros of this polynomial function. Um, I, you should know that it does not matter if you're missing any degrees or terms. That does not apply when you're using the rational zero theorem. So let's continue. Step one is to identify P and Q. Uh, P here would be your factors of the constant term. The constant term is the back end term. In this case, it would be the negative six. Uh, and then you have on the bottom, which would be Q, uh, that would be factors of the leading coefficient. The leading term here is the one out front. Its coefficient is four. So the bottom, you're gonna have a four. And now we're going to list factors of the top and bottom. It does not matter whether the top or bottom is negative because when you write uh, rational zeros, you're, you're gonna write them as plus or minus anyway. So let's find factors of six and let's find factors of four and then we're gonna write them as P over Q. And now we're gonna see how many uh, numbers that we can generate using those factors. You look at the top and the bottom and you look for um, whichever one has the least amount of numbers. So the top has four numbers, the bottom has three numbers. So we'll create three scenarios. We'll create a scenario where there's a one on the bottom and all of these numbers on top. Then we'll create another scenario where there's a two under the bottom and all of those numbers up top. And then lastly, a four under the bottom with all of those numbers up top. So let's go ahead and create those scenarios. And now we're gonna go through our list to make sure that none repeat. So we're gonna start with the first, one divided by one. So the first number on our list is one, then two, then three, and then six. Moving to the second row, we have one half. And then we have one because two divided by two is one. So let's go ahead and X that out. Continuing on, we have three halves, three halves, let's add it. Six divided by two is three already on the list. So let's X that out. Moving to the bottom, we have one fourth. It's not on our list, let's add it. Then we have two fourth. Two fourth reduces to one half. We already have that. Next, we have three fourth. Let's add that to our list. And then lastly, we have uh, six fourths. Six fourths reduces to three halves, which we already have on our list. And here is our list of possible rational zeros.